ओके सो नाउ आवर टॉपिक इज रैपर क्लास व्हाट इज रैपर क्लास रैपर क्लास इज अ इनबिल्ड क्लास दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन आवर जावा कंपाइलर लैंग पैकेज अंडर जावा लैंग पैकेज व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ रैपर क्लास रैपर क्लास इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट एनी गिवन डेटा टाइप इनटू एन ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज आल्सो यूज्ड टू कन्वर्ट न्यूमेरिक स्ट्रिंग इनटू न्यूमेरिक वैल्यूज ओके न्यूमेरिक स्ट्रिंग टू न्यूमेरिक वैल्यूज मींस सपोज इट इज अ न्यूमेरिक स्ट्रिंग डबल उडी दी डबल कोटेशन 56 इफ यू वांट टू कन्वर्ट इट इनटू इंटीजर 56 सो वी कैन डू इट यूजिंग रैपर क्लास व्हाट आर द इंपोर्टेंस ऑफ रैपर क्लास टू कन्वर्ट सिंपल डेटा टाइप इनटू ऑब्जेक्ट I already told, already discussed. It is used to convert simple data type into object and to convert string into data types, primitive data types. Okay, let us take one example. Uh, suppose int a goes to ten. We have one integer value a goes to ten. If we want to convert it into object, this value into object, how we will write? We will write integer b. Integer that is our upper class b equals to new integer. A that value A we will store here. What will happen now? The value of A, whatever it is, ten, it is converted into object now. Now the value of ten is present inside an object that is called B. Okay. So here A is a primitive data type, integer type, and B is an integer type object. Okay. Both are same. Uh, values are same, but both are not same type. This is integer type object. Class, uh, sorry, uh, uh, integer type variable, and this it is integer type object. Now, if you want to get back this value, that value using this object, how we will write? We will write int c equals to b this object name dot int value. We have one function int value here. B is v is capital caps. B b dot int value. Using this function, inbuilt function, we can get back the value. Okay. Now, how many primitive type? How many wrapper classes we have? We have eight wrapper classes because we have eight primitive data types. That is the wrapper class: byte, sort, int, integer, long, float, double, boolean, character. You see, first letter. All the first letters are um, uh, upper case in upper case caps. Byte primitive data type sort it is int long float double boolean char. Now we will discuss the different functions uh, that we we will use in our program. So first one is parse function. What is the use of parse function? We have four different integer types means int long float double four numeric type values we are having. it is used to convert string to those numeric values so string values i told string is uh, numeric string to numeric value so using parse function we can do that it is one of the function that we can use how we will use suppose we have a variable string s equals to double quotation 70 okay another i am taking string S one equals to double quotation fifty six point seven five. Okay, now suppose we want to convert it into int, int a. So how we will convert? We will write integer dot parse int within bracket s. It will convert that value into integer. So answer will be seventy. It is int is a numeric value. Similarly, if we want to convert it into long, long b equals to we will write long dot parse long s. The answer will be seventy long l. Similarly, next one. Suppose we want to convert it into float, float c. So we will write float dot parse float within bracket s one. So answer will be fifty six point seven five f float value. Similarly, double if you want to get 
double so double d equals to double dot parts double this one 56.75 simple or d whatever so that is parts function using parts function we can convert okay next second one that is value of value of function here v is small value of function using this also we can convert any uh, string into our primitive data type numeric data types for example same thing i am taking string s equals to 90 string s1 equals to 85.9 then suppose we want int a1 equals to integer dot value of s so there will be 90 same thing again long a2 equals to long dot value of s float a3 equals to float dot value of s1 double a4 equals to double dot value of s1 so like this we can use our value of function okay it will convert uh, string to primitive data type so the answer will be 85.9 here also 85.9 obviously f will be there like this next function that we have already discussed that is how you convert one uh, means object to its primitive data type okay how object to primitive data type how we will convert let's see dot dot value here it will be object object dot value function how we will use it already we have discussed here you see suppose we have a object b so we will con we want to convert it into integer type so int c equals to b dot int value here also if we have another value suppose uh, double double d equals to 59.5 and if we want to convert it into first objects how we will write we will write double double x equals to new double d so now that 59.5 is converted into an object this value is stored in x now x is an object now now if you want to convert this x object into double again so we will write double p equals to x dot double value open close parenthesis okay so from object to primitive data type we want to convert then we will use this function value function here v is caps in caps that is our wrapper class